Sellout crowd inside Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Here comes the fourth-ranked team in the country, the 11-1 Georgia Bulldogs, the champions of the East, making their eighth appearance in the SEC title game. And from Baton Rouge, the second-ranked Tires, undefeated at 12-0, making their sixth appearance in the first time in this game in eight years. Over the college flair to it. Edward Zelaer in the slot to the left as a receiver across the middle. It's batted in the air. Joe Burrow to Joe Burrow. And now Burrow heading to the first down marker and then some. It's going to go as a Burrow to Burrow 16-yard pickup. Darius Moss, the tight end. On the right side is Burrow. Looking to throw deep down the middle and he got it complete. Paris Marshall for the first down. Play clock down to three. Just got it away. Burrow, plenty of time. Scanning the field. Pointing. Wow. Now he's going to go deep. And caught. Jamar Chase for the touchdown. You cannot rush three guys against Joe Burrow. LSU brings some extra people up close. Found the throw on third and short. Waiting, waiting. Deep middle. Got it. Complete. Dominic Blaylock. And Blaylock holding his knee. We cannot lose the line of scrimmage. Georgia picked up its last third down situation. There's a draw play to Harry. And that's not going to cut it from long range. Rodrigo off and short. And did a whistle blow before the kick. Everybody just sort of stopped him. Kick is wide left. No good. So a sad ending to his day for sure. Second and eight. They got a hit on Burrow, but not before he got it to Edward Zelaer. First down it is at the 48-yard line. Now the play fake to Edward Z. Lair and going deep left sideline. Coverage is a caught, yes, Terrace Marshall. Or did he drop it? Well, he double caught it if he caught it. Spot and has that speed. There's the fake, there's the lob, there's a wide open Terrace Marshall. Touchdown LSU. How about the design on this play? They go the bunch, and that confuses Georgia. You can see his skills on that run. From throws, Scott complete to Simmons for a first down into LSU territory. Play action from loads. Throws complete. Robertson has got another first down. He's collared and dropped at about the 24. They got to put some points on the board here. They got to get at least a field goal. From pressure coming. Throws complete. Simmons got a little bit of it back. And he's got three more to that record. Count was the guy in there early. LSU trying to go tempo and they got tangled up with a couple of people. Here's a wide open Justin Jefferson down the sideline. The count will bring him out of bounds, but not before. Under four minutes to play in a half. Here comes pressure on Burrow. He got away from it somehow, and now he's running. This is what he does best, all the way to the 30-yard line. Burrow's going to run with it all the way. He's really close, but he didn't get it. York had five against Texas A&M last week. Can he hit this one from 41? That is up and good. Charlie Warner, the tight end, is that a group of three on the left side. The throws across the middle there. It's Tyler Simmons. Simmons. He ran out of bounds, but he got a first down. He let that first down happen. Longest play of the day for Georgia, 19 yards. And down the middle, and it is the tight end, Charlie Warner. Like, maybe get me the ball, Jake. <laughs> first down. From pressure coming. Throws. Far side. It's intercepted by Stingley. His ball skills are unbelievable. For a young player, a year from now, he will be playing both ways for LSU. Minute 39, two oh, that's, timeouts. That's a lifetime. <laughs> I know. Burrow looking for more. Got some late pressure. Crossing route though to Edward Zelaer on the run. Clyde Edward Zelaer all the way out. All over the field. Safety on a running back, not a linebacker. Second and ten. Burrow steps up in the pocket. Now he's going to take off with it. Burrow's going to get a first down and then some. Man, look at him run away. Those are fast four and five star safeties and DBs. Burrow 
Calmly throws to Chase on the slant. And he's still running to the 30 yard line. Third and 10. Burrow scaling the field. Again, has all day. Throws late, knocked down. Nice job defensively. By How about Georgia secondary. Nicobe Dean, another true freshman. I think number 17. Cade York will try 40, I think a 48 yard field goal. And it's going to be wide left. Georgia got a much needed stop there. Georgia hasn't trailed by this much all year. Joe Burrow just calmly looking for more. Maybe not so calm now, trying to run away, and again he does. And uses the legs to get a first down. The leading rusher in the game is the quarterback for the Tigers. Defense against the running game has still worked. It's been number nine. This time he throws to a safety valve. And Lindsey there, first guy missed. Ronnie Rice trying to stay with him, and number 22 drags him. On the Georgia side of the 50. Play fake by Burrow. Going to go back to Edward Z. Lair, who was wide open in the flat. He's got another first down. And he's going to take J.R. Reed out of bounds with him, and J.R. still holding on without his hat. 52 of the 71 yards by the quarterback. Burrow throws. Justin Jefferson puts a move on, puts two moves on, and spins out for nine more. Back on this Georgia defense to get a stop. Burrow loads and fires. Got it complete. Marshall to the 10. Georgia trying to bring some heat on Burrow. They finally got to him. Yep, the stand, a huge stand by this Georgia team. They got the tight end on wide on one side and the running back wide on the top. The receivers are inside. Burrow flushed a little bit to the right again. Throws on the run and low and incomplete. Intended for Edwards Eli. And this one's up and good. We're even, we're even. <laughs> First down, DeAndre Swift trying to get outside. Finally does a little bit. Picked up about 12. See if he's going to be a factor here in the third quarter. Take from in trouble. Jake's going to run. And Jake's going to get the first down. That is Pickens in motion. Late blitz coming from. Got rid of it. Got to Cook out in the flat. James Cook. I think he's got the first down. Face third and long. Harrion trying to get wide. Not going to be able to. Chase on got out there and forced it. One of the tight end in there. That's Robertson in motion with Pickens out to that side. Fourth and eight for Jake Fromm. Needs to make a play. Fires, completes it to Pickens. Pickens inside the 20. And he's got a first down. Georgia finally in the red zone. At the 17 yard line. Fromm waiting too long. They got him by the ankle. <laughs> Isaiah Wilson. Blitz coming. From throws up in the air. Again, Landers can't hold it. The one thing Georgia didn't want to do today is settle for field goals. They need all of them to get. They just missed one there. Oof. That one was missed very similar to the South Carolina miss in overtime that cost them. We've still got almost 20 minutes left to play. Here comes the blitz on the road. They're giving chase, and he somehow escapes again. And now throws late on the run. Got it. Justin Jefferson. Jefferson. Going to run out of real estate, but it's first and goal for LSU. Brad, I want to ask you a question. Can you have two Heisman moments in one year? I think after 60 years ago when Billy Cannon won it, I think we just saw the next Tiger to win. 2019. Look at this play. He had the Heisman play against Alabama with the run, and this one is his second Heisman move. He stole that play from Georgia. Third down. Quick slant. There it is. Gary yeah, called it. Touchdown. Wow. Terrace Marshall. Well, I thought they might go to the corner, but he got an easier throw. They went slots on the slant. Man-to-man -man coverage on those guys inside. The threat of the run. Burrow, the fade to the corner to Jefferson. Touchdown, LSU. Defensive line, man, they are still going 100 miles an hour. Here's a slam to Pickens. And Pickens could have earlier. 
Another fourth down, fourth and ten. From back shoulder throw on a catch by Pickens. And that just shows you some of the talent this kid has. Brian Herring with Fromm, high snap. Fromm throws quickly and completes it to Pickens for the touchdown. Look this time, Edward Zelair, and he's still going. That's the word, anyway. Good coach, good team. Burrow thought about running and uh, went down, courtesy of Devontae Wyatt. Kick out of the way. And it got in there somehow. Ed O knows what he's doing. Cade York. Second down and 10 for Fromm and company. Inside handoff to Cook. And yeah, Cook. They've done pretty good with that, haven't they? Jake Fromm having one of those tough days, but there's a good delivery to Robertson. And they're still blitzing Fromm. And down he goes to paid off. Patrick Queen with a sack. The game ball goes to the coach. Uh, goes to Murrow and then right back to the coach yeah, with his wife Kelly behind him saying, we got a spot for that somewhere in the house. It was his vision. And he believed it when a lot of people didn't believe in him, and he got his team to believe. Well, Joe's already won one award, the Johnny Unitas Golden Arm, as you saw on that banner over there on the sideline. There's more trophies to come for Joe Burrow, trust me. 37 to 10, SEC champions for 2019, the Tigers of LSU from Baton Rouge. For Gary Danielson and Jamie Erdahl, I'm Brad Nestle saying so long. Final score 37 to 10. College football postgame show presented by Rocket Mortgage. Coming up next after these messages.